everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Taking as much of your time as we possibly can to begin this process of discovery with all of you we are here to discover what is possible with you we are excited to uncover the possibilities for what we can accomplish together. And that is one of the most significant reasons for why we keep coming to you. through channels like this one and in the astral plane we like to explore what the combination of your consciousness with ours can do on the global scale and on the galactic scale 
as we seek to play as big a role as we possibly can in humanity's ascension. That desire springs forth from our curiosity about what is possible now. You are there on earth at this time to discover what is possible when you combine a fourth dimensional human with source energy amidst a sea of limitations that you were born into. And so you are there to not only move past the built-in limitations of physicality, duality, and the third and fourth dimensions, but you are also there to go further than any humanoid being has ever gone while in a fourth dimensional frequency range. That really is the goal of your souls. You are ascending. That's what's happening. And it's going to happen with or without your conscious participation. Your conscious participation makes the experience better for you. And in this time that you have now in between where you are and the completion of your ascension to 5D, you have the ability to go further than anyone has ever gone before. in your unique set of circumstances. And so you are there to work with beings like us to take source energy in a physical body further along. And it is always going to be our desire to see what role we can play in that spectacular undertaking that you have been a part of for so many lifetimes there on earth. Believe us when we say that being on earth and reincarnating there over and over again is not a sign that you are somehow less evolved as a soul. In fact, it's a sign that you were up to the challenge again and again and again. 
And it is so much more of an enviable position than you realize. Now, those of you who have awakened to the truth that you and everyone else around you is source energy masquerading in a physical body have cracked that code and now you just have to put that knowing into a greater beingness a greater sense that you carry with you everywhere you go that's the way to move beyond what has already been done before and what has already been experienced by source through other fourth dimensional beings. So here we are in the ninth dimension in between all of you and source And we are looking to boost you up, to co-create with you, and to see how far we can go when we work together. And if you are interested in coming along for that ride, We are always available. We are all around. And if you can tap into that eagerness and excitement that we feel You certainly can go to those new heights with our assistance. We are the Octarian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you Oh, call me Andrew. <laughs> she hiked her butt up in the air. <laughs> as soon as my hand came, I got a little cat hair, sniffing cat hair over here. Nice of you to join us, Miss Kaliandra. <laughs> Trying to think if there's any any good Talea stories for you guys. I mean, talk about eagerness. When when I look into that girl's eyes, when she's just looking at me because I'm there in the room, there's like an eagerness to connect or to, to get something, I don't know what it is, um, to know more about me or what I'm gonna do next. And it's, it's just so adorable. I mean, I really just wish that there'd be a way to bottle that so that when we get to be my age, we could just drink it <laughs> and get that 
that real enthusiasm. You know, she's grabbing everything now. If something's in reach, she'll grab it. But it's going to become... You didn't hear that? Scratch it. She'll scratch it or she'll grab it. <laughs> she wants to... She wants to touch everything. And then, you know, she's teething, so a lot of things go right to the mouth <laughs> lately. Um, so uh, I've got the link in the description for the replay of my interview with John Burgos for Beyond the Ordinary. It's also a video. If you go into my, uh, my channel, it's one of the last few videos I made. Um, it's just the audio. There's no video of us talking, unfortunately. Um, it's an hour and a half conversation on soulmates and twin flames and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's in there um, in the description of this. Oh, and I found I did my butterfly effect interview today. And that's going to be airing on February 10th. So um, you can sign up now for that tell summit. It's it's going on right now, and those are video. We made a video today, me and Carissa. Um, so you can watch me and everybody else that she's interviewing, and uh, th these are all people in this tell summit I think that are new to me. So I don't know any of the, any of the people besides myself <laughs> who are in it. Um, got a day off tomorrow. I'm um, excited just to be home and do nothing and then go for a hike. Oh, I won't be doing nothing. I'm sorry. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'll be home. I'll be busy doing lots of stuff. Um, but then going for a hike. But sleeping in. Sleeping in is great. <laughs> All right, everybody. Whoa. Hey, now. She startled herself there. <laughs> Andrew, you want to say hi to the people? This is my tail. No. <laughs> Have a great one, everyone. Blessings to you and yours. Hope you're having a great weekend. See you back here tomorrow night. Namaste. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video.